Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss the question which says that transform a parallelogram having vertices P with coordinates 2, 3, Q with coordinates minus 1, 0, R with coordinates minus 4, 0, and S with coordinates minus 1, 3 using the following transformations. And the first transformation is XY transforms to X plus 2, Y minus 3. Second transformation is XY transforms to X, PY. Also, we have to compare the two transformations with respect to distance preservation. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here, we are given a parallelogram. All the vertices P, Q, R and S. Now let us plot all these points on the graph. Now we have point P with coordinates 2, 3. Then we have point Q with coordinates minus 1, 0. And the next point is R with coordinates minus 4, 0. And lastly, we have point S with coordinates minus 1, 3. Now let us join P to Q. Then Q to R. R to S. And S to P. And this is the required parallelogram. P, Q, R, S. Now let us transform it using the given transformations. Now this is the first transformation. In the first transformation, x, y transforms to x plus 2, y minus 3. And now let us find image of P, Q, R and S using the given transformation rule. Now the point P has coordinates 2, 3. So putting x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 in the given transformation The coordinates of image point P dash will be 2 plus 2, 3 minus 3. So, the point P with coordinates 2, 3 transforms to point P dash with coordinates 4, 0. So, using this transformation rule, P dash is the image point of the point P. Similarly, point Q with coordinates minus 1, 0 transforms to point Q dash with coordinates minus 1 plus 2, that is 1, and 0 minus 3, that is minus 3. So the point Q with coordinates minus 1, 0 transforms to the point Q dash with coordinates 1 minus 3. Then point R with coordinates minus 4, 0 transforms to point R dash the coordinates minus 2 minus 3 and point S with coordinates minus 1 3 
transforms to point F dash with coordinates 1, 0. Now let us plot these image points on the graph. Now the first point is P dash with coordinates 4, 0. Then next point is Q dash with coordinates 1, minus 3. Then next point is R dash with coordinates minus 2, minus 3. And next point is S dash with coordinates 1, 0. Now let us join P dash to Q dash and Q dash to R dash, R dash to S dash and S dash to P dash. So here P dash, Q dash, R dash, S dash is a parallelogram which is the required transformed image for part 1. And now, let us start with the second part. In the second part, we have the transformation given by XY transforms to X to Y. Now using this rule, let us find the image points of P, Q, R and S. Now here, point P has coordinates 2, 3. Now we have to find the image point of point P using this transformation rule, so putting x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 in this transformation, we have the image point P double dash with coordinates 2, 2 into 3. So, Point P with coordinates 2, 3 is transformed to point P double dash with coordinates 2, 6. Similarly, point Q with coordinates minus 1, 0 transforms to point Q double dash with coordinates minus 1, 2 into 0 that is 0, then point R with coordinates minus 4, 0 transforms to point R double dash with coordinates minus 4, 0 and point S with coordinates minus 1, 3 transforms to point S double dash with coordinates minus 1, 6 so, P double dash, Q double dash, R double dash and S double dash are the image points of the points P, Q, R and S respectively. Now, let us plot these image points on the graph. Now, this is the point P double dash with coordinates 2, 6. This is the point Q double dash with coordinates minus 1, 0. And this is the point R double dash with coordinates minus 4, 0. And lastly, this is the point S double dash with coordinates minus 1, 6. Now joining all these points, we get a parallelogram P double dash, Q double dash, R double dash, S double dash, which is the required image of the given parallelogram PQRS using second transformation. And now let us compare the two transformations 
with respect to distance preservation first we compare parallelogram pqrs with its image that is the parallelogram v dash q dash r dash s dash and here we see the distance between the corresponding sides of two figures for this we will make use of distance formula and according to distance formula if l is the point with coordinates x1 y1 and m is the point with coordinates x2 y2 then distance lm will be equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so we can find distance between two points using distance formula now here we know point p has coordinates 2 3 and point q has coordinates minus 1 0 so let us find distance pq using distance formula now in parallel on pq rs let us denote the coordinates of p as x1 y1 and coordinates of q as x2 y2 now using distance formula distance pq is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square that is minus 1 minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is 0 minus 3 whole square and this is equal to square root of minus 3 whole square plus minus 3 whole square and this is equal to square root of 9 plus 9 which is equal to square root of 18 now as pq rs is a parallelogram so distance pq will be equal to distance rs as opposite sides of parallelogram are equal so here distance rs is equal to distance pq which is equal to square root of 18 now from the graph we can see that qr is horizontal and q that is the point q and point r are three units apart so distance qr is equal to 3 Now here again, we know that opposite sides of parallelogram are equal, so QR is equal to SP. So distance SP is equal to distance QR, which is equal to three. Now let us see distance in the parallelogram P dash Q dash R dash S dash. Now here point P dash has coordinates four zero. And point Q dash has coordinates one minus three. Now using distance formula, distance P dash Q dash is equal to square root of one minus four whole square plus minus three minus zero whole square, which is equal to square root of minus three. Whole square that is nine plus minus three whole square that is nine, which is equal to square root of eighteen. Now here again, as P dash Q dash R dash S dash is a parallelogram, so opposite sides are equal. So distance R dash S dash is equal to distance P dash Q dash, which is equal to square root of eighteen. And here also, the points Q dash and R dash are three units apart. So the distance Q dash R dash is equal to three, and this is equal to distance P dash S dash, 
बिकॉज ऑपोजिट साइड्स ऑफ पैलोर ग्राम आर इक्वल सो डिस्टेंस क्यू डैश आर डैश इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस एफ डैश पी डैश इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो फ्रॉम द टू फिगर्स वी फाइंड दैट कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग साइड्स ऑफ दीज टू फिगर्स आर इक्वल दैट इज डिस्टेंस पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस पी डैश क्यू डैश Distance Q R is equal to distance Q dash R dash. Distance R S is equal to distance R dash S dash, and distance S P is equal to distance S dash P dash. So, first transformation preserves distance, and now let us find distance P double dash Q double dash R double dash S double dash. Q double dash R double dash and S double dash P double dash using distance formula. Now from the graph we can see distance Q double dash R double dash is three units, and here also distance S double dash P double dash is again three units. Now let us find distance P double dash Q double dash using distance formula. So using distance formula, distance P double dash Q double dash is equal to square root of minus one minus two whole square plus zero minus six whole square, which is equal to square root of minus three whole square, which is nine plus. Minus six whole square, which is thirty-six, and this is equal to square root of forty-five. Now distance R double dash S double dash is equal to distance P double dash Q double dash, which is equal to square root of forty-five. Now on comparing corresponding sides of parallelogram, PQR is And parallelogram P double dash Q double dash R double dash S double dash, we find distance P double dash Q double dash is square root of 45, but distance P Q is square root of 18. So distance P Q is not equal to distance P double dash Q double dash. So Second transformation does not preserve distance. The second transformation increases the size of given parallelogram vertically, and this transformation is a vertical stretch. So, first transformation is a translation, and second transformation is a vertical stretch. And this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.